Well, welcome back, everybody. We pray you're having a good time during this Hanukkah season. I mean, it's Hanukkah, it's Christmas, there are lights everywhere. I love it. The, um, the Tabernacle, our church in Buffalo, had beautiful, beautiful decorations this year. They did such a beautiful job. Shout out to the team that did an incredible job decorating those. And ours are all in red and white. And next door to us is a wonderful business that's owned by a Jewish businessman who's a friend of ours. And they're all in blue and white next door celebrating Hanukkah. And I love that, that right, right side by side, there's all the, the, lights, all the, lights. All the lights, right? The red and white uh, at the tabernacle and the blue and white right next door to us celebrating Christmas and Hanukkah. The message is this, God is a God of light and in him there is no darkness. There is only light that comes and offers us every day illumination, warmth, strength, all of the beautiful things that come from the light of God. Well, we're here tonight on night six. I hope you've got a Hanukkah. I hope you're following along. I hope you're lighting the light. And as we learned last night, you're lighting it where? Someplace? For everyone to see. For everyone to see, right? Like, like the city of Sfat. Everybody can see it when you're on the Sea of Galilee. So here's the, here's the quiz tonight. Here's the question for you. How do you spell Hanukkah? That is a debate. There's like nine spellings for Hanukkah. Maybe not nine, but there's a lot of them. Is it C-H-A? Is it H-A? Is it two N's? Is it one N? Is there an H? All kinds of spellings of Hanukkah. But in Hebrew, it's not so difficult. Uh, in Hebrew, there is only one spelling and there is only one name for Hanukkah. And we want to talk tonight about what is the name of Hanukkah? What does it signify? Hanukkah literally means, it comes from the Hebrew word, anybody want to say it? We said it yesterday, the Feast of? Dedication. The Feast of Dedication. And I love that one of you said dedication and one of you said rededication, because that's the focus tonight. The focus is that every time we dedicate something, we are both dedicating that thing in a fresh new way, it's a new beginning, but at the same time, we are rededicating. What do I mean? We do a lot of baby dedications at the tabernacle. Um, young parents will have a child and they'll bring their child to the tabernacle to be dedicated. It reminds us of circumcision. It reminds us of the, the uh, ceremony of the Brit Milah, the circumcision ceremony within the Jewish tradition. It reminds us of Simeon and Anna, when uh, Jesus was brought to the temple for circumcision and Simeon and Anna were there and they celebrated and participated in that moment. Well, what's the point? Every time I dedicate a baby at the tabernacle or in a service, I look around and I say to the folks, I say, to be honest, this baby does not really know what's going on. This baby does not understand this ceremony. I said, who we're really dedicating is ourselves. We're dedicating ourselves. How are we going to live our lives so that this child's life is better? That this child's life knows God, connects with God, walks in the kingdom of God. So really, that baby is being dedicated, but what's really being dedicated is our spiritual community. Well, that is Hanukkah. Hanukkah, we celebrate the Feast of Dedication. They were dedicating the temple that had been cleansed, but it was a rededication because defilement had come in. What is the lesson? The lesson there is, it's never too late to start over. It's never too late to rededicate. The temple had been overrun. It had been set up with idol worship. Most of the Jews had become Hellenized. They had adopted the ways of the Greeks around them. They'd lost their covenant with God. But it's never too late to start over in a relationship, in your relationship with God, your relationship with your family. We're coming to the Gregorian time of year when people make New Year's resolutions. I'm gonna lose 20 pounds this year. I'm gonna, right? I'm gonna do, what are you laughing at? <laughs> right? We, we all come to our New Year's resolutions this time of year. So, what I want you to remember tonight is this. Hanukkah literally means the Feast of Dedication. They're dedicating 
the temple. By the way, it, the, the, the same word is found, I think, Michael, you have the book, the same word is found in Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 12. Nehemiah is, you know, how many years before Hanukkah, but it says, Hanukkah Chamot Yerushalayim. They dedicated the rebuilt walls of Jerusalem. A lot of you have the new book, Rise and Rebuild. That rebuilding, Nehemiah, I think it's probably, I'll have to check it, but it might be one of the first uses of the word Hanukkah or Hanukkah in this instance in Nehemiah chapter 12, as we rise and rebuild. You can get the book, by the way. It's out now. Thank you, Michael. So, this is a time of dedication, which means we're dedicating things new in our lives and we're rededicating ourselves to the things that we know are most important and most crucial. So when we light the lights tonight, let's light them in a spirit of dedication. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kichanu B'mitzvotav B'tzivanu Madlik Nair Shel Shel Hanukkah Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who gives us this command to light the lights of Hanukkah. And God, may these lights in our lives be lights of fresh dedication. May this not be simply a tradition, but may it spark a light of dedication and rededication in our lives. We pray tonight, B'Shem Yeshua, in the name of Jesus, our Messiah. And everyone said, Amen. We love you. We bless you. Duke always comes in when we start to light. That's what he does. I don't know what it is. You like the lighting, Duke. God bless you. We'll see you two more nights. Two more nights. We'll see you tomorrow night. Happy Hanukkah.